So heart failure is a, essentially a syndrome where the heart doesn't produce as much blood flow as the body demands. Heart failure is caused by a variety of different things. By far in America, the number one cause of heart failure is coronary artery disease. Somebody has a big heart attack, they damage their heart muscle, and it weakens over time, and the squeeze just isn't there. Other people won't actually have a heart attack that they know about, but have a lot of coronary disease, and you get small little heart attacks that will damage it. Heart failure is treated both in terms of trying to recover the heart as well as symptomatically. And so symptoms of heart failure, which are shortness of breath, swelling in the legs and in the belly, short of breath when you lay down at night, are all usually related to fluid. And so we give diuretics to help the body get rid of that extra fluid. We also wanna make the heart better. And so there are a number of different medicines from different types of classes that work in different ways to improve the heart function. And so a typical person will be on four or five different medications that all work in slightly different ways to improve heart function as well as get rid of that extra fluid. The vast majority of patients with heart failure, once they're on good medical therapy, really are almost asymptomatic. They can work, they can exercise, they can get out and about and do what they want. They still need to take their medications, uh, but they can get out and do their normal stuff. It's really just as heart failure progresses over time that you get to that point where you're short of breath at rest or with minimal activity, that heart failure truly becomes limiting. But for the vast majority of patients with heart failure, they can get out and do most of what they would normally do. We definitely should not limit exercise. I think that you can overexert yourself. That has not been shown to be detrimental, um, but you pay for it. And even people with normal hearts, if you go out and try to run a marathon, you're gonna feel it the next day. We've done uh, a large study, over 3,000 patients, which shows that patients who exercise did better than those who didn't exercise. Exercise is a good thing for patients with heart failure take your medicines every day. Most of the medicines that we give you, we give you because they've been shown to improve survival in patients with heart failure. So those meds are important. If you take them part of the time, but not all the time, you're not getting the whole benefit from it. Fluid is, is our enemy. And so the more you drink, the more you've got to get rid of. Additionally, salt acts like a sponge for fluid. So eating and drinking appropriately with a low salt diet is really important because you can quickly get yourself into trouble if you eat too much. And then lastly, fess up to your symptoms. If you're getting worse, let us know. There are things that we change as people progress with heart failure. And the more of those that we know, the more that we're kind of interacting as a team, the better you're gonna do. The last thing we wanna do is see you in the hospital. We would rather kind of knock things off before you get to the point that you're that sick.